FeatureCam now provides better control for users who have machines that support the simultaneous use of multiple coolants. This is achieved by allowing a selection of more than one coolant type per operation or as a default for all operations, with additions to the post processor that enable coolant code to be set over a tool range. In this example we've got a simple turn part with an outside turn profile and a hole down the centre. If I go over to the part view you can see the two features are located here. In this case I'm using for this example a two turret machine and this is a Morisiki NT. If I go into the feature, just go to the roughing area, the biggest change that we see in the interface within FeatureCam is this new tab indicating coolant. Here you can see the list of active coolants that are available and listed in the post processor and we have the option to turn any one of these on at the same time. Note when I switch these on the override becomes enabled and this works for all of those functions. So in this case I've turned those on for this roughing operation and for the finishing operation. If I was to say OK run through the machining sequence we get our part like so and if I go to the NC code we can see that we get multiple coolant outputs and in this case we get multiple coolant switched off these numbers come directly from the post processor so if we go and edit this and go to the CNC information and look at coolant, you can see the options to turn the coolants on and off. So in this case I have M8 and M9 for switching on my flood. But the through spindle we can see the major difference here is you have a checkbox for the multi-code and if I go to configure we can see we get this new tool range available to us. So I can set the tool range uh, and this is especially useful if we're dealing with the multi-tool blocks or gang tooling where we might want to set different coolants for each. Note we can also set the tool posts, so basically indicating which turret is being used for each of these coolant types. So for example the uh, through spindle coolant, in this case for uh, the upper turret, is set to M484 and turning it off at M485. And we can see that in the NC code, so the M484 and then switching it off M485 like so. For the lower turret, in this case I've got M252 and M257. If I was to verify that just by looking at the lower turret code, in this case we can see the 252 and the 257 like so. Likewise if I change the coolants halfway through, so for example without doing a tool change, let's say for example my roughing I'm going to do flood and through spindle, but for my finishing operation I'm just going to do the through spindle. Say OK, replay through my sequence and look at the NC code, we see we get both coolants switched on but at the end of this process where we get the segment start for the next operation we can see we're turning off the flood coolant uh, but we're not turning off the through spindle coolant until after the second operation. So going back into the post processor, if I edit that again and just go to the format program segment start we can see we've got the cancel cool uh, in there, so that does the, the cancellation uh, of any uh, uh, coolants that aren't being used later on. Uh, and the other thing just to highlight is the, uh, the way we separate these out. So if we go back into our coolants, we can see, that, see at the base here our settings. We've got this set to space, but we could put those on a new line, uh, do nothing, or have some kind of other separation between those for the codes. So that's the new improvements to our multiple coolant support.